Welcome back to the Kidney Care Hub, where today, we're slicing into a topic that's going to rise to your expectations, and it's all about bread. But not just any bread, we're diving into the world of bread alternatives that are both delicious and also kidney-friendly. So does having kidney disease mean that you must ditch the dough and go without bread? No. Well, not exactly, you may need to rethink your old bread habits, but don't fret. Picking the right type of bread can be a bit of a puzzle, so let's break down what to look for on the bread label, before we unveil the top 9 bread alternatives for kidney health. But first, remember that you should always seek advice from a qualified healthcare provider for your specific kidney health needs. Okay, so let's start with fiber. Choosing high fiber bread is best for kidney disease. Look for at least 2 grams of fiber per serving. This helps to maintain healthy blood sugar and reduce cholesterol, which, in turn, relieves extra strain on your kidneys. Secondly, sodium. Bread is one of the main sources of sodium in most people's diet. However, it is hard on the kidneys, and can also raise blood pressure levels. Generally, try limiting sodium to less than 2,300 mg per day, and opt for bread that is less than 140 mg of sodium per serving. Next, potassium. This is essential for heart health and muscle function. But in large amounts, especially if your kidneys aren't filtering as they should, it can become a concern. Too much potassium can lead to hyperkalemia, a condition with life-threatening implications. Food is classed as high potassium if it has above 200 mg of potassium in each serving. If you're on hemodialysis, most health professionals advise limiting your potassium to 2,000 mg per day, and if you are on peritoneal dialysis, it's 3,500 mg. Another ingredient to be aware of is phosphorus. Phosphorus can build up in your blood when your kidneys don't work properly. When this happens, calcium can be pulled from your bones and can collect in your skin or blood vessels, which can lead to further bone complications. When choosing your bread, look for no added phosphorus in the ingredient list. And if you're on dialysis, the general advice is to limit phosphorus to about 1000 mg per day. Lastly, sweeteners. Most types of bread are high in added sugars, which can spike blood sugar levels and put more stress on your kidneys. Look for 3 grams or less of added sugar on the Nutrition Facts label. It might seem overwhelming at first, but the good news is that there are still certain varieties of bread and bread-like products that you can eat, ones that not only won't harm your kidneys, but they can also supply some amazing health benefits. That's right, we're about to unveil 9 kidney-friendly bread choices and bread replacements. And stay tuned, because we're giving away a free amazing kidney health boosting gift later in the video. Kicking off the list at number 9, it's cornbread and polenta. Cornbread is an age-old favorite, especially in southern cooking. Traditionally made from cornmeal, it can be both savory and sweet, making it a versatile option for various meals. And if you've never had polenta, think of it as the Italian cousin to cornbread. Made by boiling cornmeal into a thick and creamy consistency, polenta can be enjoyed soft or allowed to cool and solidify, then sliced and grilled or fried. Plus, being naturally gluten-free, it's a great option for those with gluten sensitivities. So why are they good kidney-friendly options? For starters, they're both made from ground cornmeal, which is naturally lower in sodium, phosphorus, and potassium compared to wheat flour. This makes them kinder to your kidneys without sacrificing flavor. But here's something even better, cornmeal, the primary ingredient in both cornbread and polenta, is a source of fiber and provides a decent amount of B vitamins. B vitamins are crucial for maintaining energy and overall health, which can be particularly beneficial when you're dealing with kidney issues. So let's talk about how you can enjoy these two alternatives. Cornbread can easily replace regular bread slices, making for an interesting twist to your sandwiches. You can bake cornbread to be sweet or savory, adding ingredients like jalapenos or bell peppers to give it an extra kick, or a dash of honey for a subtle sweetness. For polenta, it's all about the texture, creamy and smooth or grilled for a crispy edge. You can top it with roasted veggies, sprinkle some herbs, or even make a delightful breakfast bowl by topping it with scrambled eggs and a dash of salsa. Moving on to number 8, 
rice-based bread. When you think of rice, steaming bowls of fluffy grains might come to mind, but rice flour can be a game-changer for those with kidney disease. Rice-based breads are fantastic because they are typically free from sodium, phosphorus, and potassium, making them a super kidney-friendly option. Not to mention, they're a blessing for those who need to steer clear of gluten. Why is it so good for your kidneys? Well, rice flour, the main component, is gentle on the kidneys due to its lower protein content compared to regular wheat flour. Some people with CKD have to keep a close watch on how much protein they're eating. And brown rice flour, often used in rice-based bread, retains the nutrient-rich bran and germ, providing you with essential nutrients like magnesium, B vitamins, and a good amount of fiber. And as we mentioned earlier, fiber plays a significant role in stabilizing blood sugar and cholesterol levels, indirectly assisting kidney function. Rice-based breads tend to be softer and more delicate than wheat-based loaves. You can toast them and top with kidney-friendly spreads like hummus as a substitute for your morning breakfast. So the next time you're longing for a sandwich or toast, reach out for rice-based bread and relish the wholesome difference. And speaking of wholesome differences, wait till you hear about our next bread alternative that's sprouting with benefits. That's right, at number 7, it's sprouted grain breads. Often regarded as a superfood, sprouted grain bread, like Ezekiel bread, is made from whole grains that have started to sprout after exposure to heat and moisture. This sprouting process does something pretty amazing, it reduces the levels of potentially harmful substances, like phytates, which can impact mineral absorption, crucial for kidney health. Here's where it gets interesting, sprouted grain breads are higher in protein and fiber but lower in gluten compared to regular bread. The sprouting process increases the amounts of amino acids, including lysine. This is an essential amino acid, meaning it is necessary for human health, but the body can't make it, and you have to get lysine from food or supplements. What's more, these breads tend to have lower levels of potassium and phosphorus compared to regular bread, aligning perfectly with kidney-friendly dietary guidelines. Sprouted grain breads have a unique and slightly nutty flavor compared to regular bread. They're fantastic for a hearty sandwich or even as a robust toast option. Load them up with kidney-friendly toppings like shredded chicken, cucumber, and a spread of hummus. And here's a tip, try using sprouted grain bread for your next grilled cheese sandwich. Use a slice of low-sodium cheese and cook it in a non-stick pan without butter. The bread crisps up beautifully, giving you a delicious and kidney-friendly treat. Before we keep going, it's crucial that we address the flowers you might want to think twice about if you're focusing on kidney health. First off, white flour. It's everywhere, used in cookies, cakes, pastries and more. White flour has been refined and stripped of most nutrients, and can contribute to increased blood sugar levels. C. Erratic blood sugar levels can be a precursor to diabetes, one of the primary causes of kidney disease. Also, white flour lacks the essential nutrients and fiber that can benefit kidney health, adding even more strain to the kidneys. But white flour isn't our only culprit. Almond flour, for instance, may sound healthy, and it often is recommended as a low-carb, gluten-free alternative, but there's a catch for those with kidney concerns. Almond flour is high in potassium and phosphorus, two minerals that many with kidney issues need to monitor closely. Coconut flour and buckwheat flour are other ones that raise eyebrows. While they're popular in many keto and paleo recipes, they can be a source of concern due to their potassium content. For someone without kidney problems, they're a nutrient gold mine. But if you're dealing with kidney disease, it might be best to limit their use. Finally, soy flour is becoming more popular and has been labeled as a superfood. And yes, it's protein-packed and offers various health benefits, but it's also rich in potassium and phosphorus, so it's not the best pick for those watching their kidney health. It's easy to get lost in the world of flowers, especially with so many alternatives popping up in the market. But don't fret, let's dive back into our list of fantastic bread alternatives. Up next at number 6, an option you might have overlooked in your grocery aisle. We're talking, of course, about corn tortillas. A staple in many Mexican and Central American cuisines, 
corn tortillas are a fantastic bread alternative for those with kidney disease. Nutritionally, they are generally made with just two ingredients, ground maize, or corn, and water. This simplicity contributes to their low phosphorus and potassium levels, and they also come with a bonus of being naturally gluten-free. What stands out for kidney health is the low sodium content in corn tortillas, crucial for maintaining healthy blood pressure and supporting kidney function. And despite being a carb-rich food, corn tortillas have a lower glycemic index compared to many types of bread. This means they won't spike your blood sugar levels as quickly, a significant factor for anyone, but especially for those with kidney concerns. When shopping for corn tortillas, look for tortillas made from whole grain corn. They will offer you more fiber, helping with digestion and overall health. Get creative in the kitchen with corn tortillas. Use them for tacos filled with kidney-friendly toppings like grilled chicken or fish, lettuce, and a dab of salsa. Or, lightly toast them to make your own chips for a crunchy snack. Coming in at number 5 on our list, it's green wraps. Switching up your sandwich game with green wraps not only brings a burst of color to your plate, but also adds a kidney-friendly twist to your meals. Let's start with lettuce wraps. Known for their crispness and lightness, lettuce leaves are perfect for a refreshing wrap, and they're particularly low in potassium and phosphorus. In addition, lettuce is actually 95% water, which makes it super hydrating. Plus, it's rich in vitamins A, K, and C. Try filling lettuce wraps with a mix of grilled chicken, shredded carrots, cucumber strips, and a drizzle of low-sodium soy sauce or a splash of lime for an Asian-inspired treat. But why stop there? Let's talk about collard greens. These dark green leaves make for an even more substantial wrap, ideal for those heartier fillings. And yes, they're kidney diet friendly too, thanks to their low potassium content. If they seem a bit tough, just blanch them briefly in boiling water, then dunk in cold water. This softens them up, making them perfect for rolling up your favorite ingredients, such as black beans, corn, diced tomatoes, and a sprinkle of cumin and cilantro. But let's not forget about cabbage. Whether you use green or red, cabbage leaves are low in potassium, and they're loaded with vitamin C and K. They add a delightful crunch and a hint of peppery flavor, perfect for complementing a variety of fillings, from grilled chicken to tofu stir-fries. Or, fill cabbage leaves with a combination of lean ground turkey, cooked quinoa, a touch of garlic and a hint of paprika for a hearty and satisfying meal. Beyond the crunch, did you know that cruciferous vegetables like cabbage might help improve kidney function? That's right, studies suggest their antioxidant properties can play a role in supporting kidney health. So it's not just a wrap, it's a kidney-boosting powerhouse. Ready for another crunchy alternative? At number 4, something you might already have in your pantry, it's rice cakes. Often seen as the go-to snack for dieters everywhere, rice cakes make for an excellent bread alternative, particularly for those managing kidney disease. Made primarily from puffed rice, they serve as a crisp and neutral canvas, ready to hold a variety of toppings. Their low potassium and phosphorus content aligns well with a kidney-friendly diet, and when you choose the plain or lightly salted versions, you can control the sodium content as well. Rice cakes are incredibly versatile. For a savory snack, try spreading a thin layer of hummus and top it with sliced cucumber and a sprinkle of dill. Or, if you're after something sweet, top them with a smear of almond butter, a sprinkle of cinnamon, and thin slices of apple. Another great idea is to use rice cakes as a base for open-faced sandwiches. Layer on some thinly sliced turkey or chicken, add a slice of tomato, some fresh lettuce, and voila, a kidney-friendly lunch is ready in minutes. Coming up next is our top three, and we'll be venturing into the world of veggies that can double as a tasty bread substitute. Can you guess what they are? But first, we'd like to thank you for watching with your exclusive free gift. This has been tailor-made to help anyone struggling with kidney problems. Just click the link in the description below and start your journey towards better kidney health. Okay, let's keep things moving with food number three, portobello mushroom caps. If you've only ever diced or sliced mushrooms for salads or toppings, portobello caps will be a delightful discovery. 
They have a robust flavor and a texture that holds well under weight, making them ideal as a bread substitute. Not only are they low in sodium, phosphorus, and potassium, but these mushrooms are brimming with nutrients, including B vitamins, selenium, vitamin D, and antioxidants, making them an ideal choice for improving kidney health. Using portobello caps is simple. Begin by gently cleaning them with a damp cloth and removing the stems. These caps make excellent buns for a kidney-friendly burger or sandwich. Grill or bake the caps with a bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper until they're tender and slightly charred, then fill them with a lean meat patty or grilled chicken breast. Add a slice of tomato and some lettuce, and you've got a burger that's not only healthy for your kidneys but also bursting with flavors and textures. Alternatively, use these caps for a unique take on a sandwich. Fill them with a mix of grilled vegetables, zucchini, bell peppers, and onions, and a spread of garlic-infused olive oil for a Mediterranean-inspired meal. This way, you can enjoy a sandwich that's high in nutrients, low in harmful minerals, and full of taste. Next up, an option that's not just a bread alternative, but it could revolutionize the way you see pizza and other traditionally bread-heavy dishes. At number 2, it's cauliflower crust, a remarkable bread alternative. Made primarily from cauliflower, this crust swaps out the high potassium and high phosphorus ingredients typically found in regular dough, offering a kidney-friendly solution to satisfy your pizza cravings. What's more, cauliflower is packed with vitamins and antioxidants, which help fight inflammation, a common concern in kidney disease. It contains vitamin C, which supports the immune system, and vitamin K, important for bone health, as well as being a good source of folate and fiber. A crispy cauliflower crust becomes the perfect foundation for your favorite pizza toppings. Opt for a variety of non-starchy vegetables like bell peppers, onions, and mushrooms, and maybe some shredded chicken or ground turkey for protein. But don't just stop at pizza. Cauliflower crust can form the base of other dishes, adapting to both sweet and savory flavors. Try using it as a base for a nutrient-packed breakfast flatbread with scrambled eggs, or dip a cauliflower flatbread in hummus alongside a salad for a nutritious lunch. And finally, taking the number one spot, it's zucchini and eggplant slices. Zucchini and eggplant slices aren't just innovative substitutes, they bring a host of benefits for kidney health. Both have low levels of potassium and phosphorus, as well as containing antioxidants like vitamin C and beta-carotene. These antioxidants help to reduce inflammation and support overall kidney function. Eggplants also contain compounds called polyphenols, known for their role in protecting the body against various diseases. In terms of preparation, these vegetables offer versatile kidney-friendly options. To use zucchini as a bread substitute, simply slice it lengthwise into thin strips. These strips can be grilled or lightly pan-fried in olive oil until tender. Stack a layer of grilled zucchini strips with a spread of hummus, topped grilled chicken, shredded carrots, cucumber slices, and a sprinkle of feta cheese for a refreshing and light zucchini sandwich. Eggplant, with its meaty texture, is another excellent choice. Slice the eggplant into thick rounds, brush them with olive oil, and season with a bit of salt and pepper. Grill or roast these slices until they're tender and slightly browned. Use them as alternatives to bread slices, or even as the base for mini pizzas. Just like with the portobello caps, top them with low-sodium tomato sauce, a variety of veggies, and a low-sodium cheese. Grill or bake them until the cheese is bubbly and the edges of the eggplant are nicely browned. And here's a pro tip, both zucchini and eggplant hold a lot of water, which can make your dish soggy. To avoid this, Lightly salt the slices and let them sit for about 10 minutes before cooking, or pat the slices dry with a paper towel after grilling or roasting. And with that, we've reached the end of our countdown. Don't forget to claim your free gift in the description below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video, where we'll dive into another aspect of kidney disease management.